What's up, guys? Welcome to episode 307 of the Monday Night Wars. I am Chad Talks, and joining me, as always, is J Mac Gaming. Chad, you made a pact with yourself earlier today when we started recording that you were going to start every episode differently than the usual it's ones. I would say if this was a regular episode, no, but no, it's not. No, no. It's episode 307. No, no. So here we go. No, no, <laughs> you can't, you can't bring it back now. I already called you out I, on it. That's I just got, I just got so sick of thinking of something new. What you fucking said it was four episodes. What do you mean? I know it's, it's it's so many. I know you got to think of something new for every Nitro and Thunder, and but <laughs> uh, <laughs> if you reverse the numbers for three hundred seven, what do you get, Chad? Well, not reverse them, but mix them up. Seven hundred three. No, I'd say three seven zero. Start the show. Oh, nice. Yeah, cool. <laughs> love that. We love him. What are we missing? <laughs> Xandig versus Fit Finley in a oh. pre-show bout that had subpar wrestling, a little heat. Fit Finley defeated Zandig in a tombstone pile driver. Out of 56. He pulled he's doing tombstones? I guess. What the fuck is that about? Finley's, Finley's doing tombstones. Oh, I have to fucking fire Fit Finley. Oh, a women's showcase. Yeah. Oh, in case in case you didn't know, uh, I called up a bunch of people from No the one no one no one would know. No one would know. Yeah, and, no one would know at all. Uh, in a poor pre-show bout, Amy Dumas, Q- Cutie Suzuki, and Debbie Malenko, no relation to Dean Malenko, uh, defeated Jacqueline Moore, Luna Vachon, and China. So the former NXT Women's Champion, China, who's been on a tear, and Luna Vachon lost to these three. Hell yeah, you'll love to see it. Debbie, uh, <laughs> a 60, China 64, so... You know what? Chad. Chad. Yeah. All right. Time for a women's division. Ahmed and Bubba Ray have pretty good chemistry. Hell go. yeah. I told you. Had Time for match. Bubba. Bub- Bubba Ray Dudley defeated Ahmed with a power bomb. There you go. Wow. Good start to the show, Chad. Got the crowd hotter yeah. and got the show off to a strong start. I've been telling Chad for, you know, a couple, probably 10 minutes now. Push Bubba. Push Bubba. After the match, after the match, Bubba Ray takes off his Dudley shirt, and underneath his Dudley shirt, he's wearing a best of the best shirt, and he pulls out a blonde wig and puts it on his head. And then uh, uh, D- Devon shows up, and he's dressed as Ahmed. He's also wearing a best of the best shirt, and they start making fun of Jericho and Ahmed, and 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 they basically say, uh, essentially, uh, we don't give a damn what Chris Jericho or what Ahmed have to say. We won that match. We're gonna go face. Best of the best at Super Brawl. And if Lasharka and Laparka want to show up and get their asses kicked too, they're more than welcome to. But we're not going to... Bubba says, I'll be damned if I lose to Shark Boy again. Let's get that straight. <laughs> and uh, and they, they, they said that they're going to win the tag titles. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. All right. We are backstage. Scott Steiner just, just beats down Drago. And, uh, and and once again, you know, he's beaten down Drago, and uh, he, he's pissed because, you know, Hoovy, he, he lost to Hoovy last week. He's mad as hell, and he's, he's, get, he's getting his payback on all the small guys. You know, he just, he just keeps, he just beats up Drago. Okay. All right, we move on. We have another NXT call-up, Chase Tatum. I got a 60. And a poor match. Chavo defeated Chase Tatum by submission. Uh, NXT champion Chase Tatum. Also in bald in some controversy as a couple weeks ago Listen, was caught with some hard be, drugs. It wouldn't and, be the future of WCW if he didn't have a hard drug problem. And that that news report came out and Chad said, thank God he's not on my main roster, otherwise I'd have to deal with that. <laughs> Chad. <laughs> and, then, and, and now, now he's, he's on here. my main roster. <laughs> <laughs> oh, now he's on my main roster. All right, we move on. Oh, Taz, Taz cuts a. Taz cuts it. That's not a fifty-five. I thought we got ninety-five at first. That's a fifty-five. This is gonna be a bad thunder. Taz can't Taz, speak, brother. Taz, Taz just cuts a promo saying, "For Super Brawl, Tommy Dreamer, I'm gonna kill you." That's fucked up. <laughs> he didn't have a script, so that was off the dome. That was off really, the dome. I think he really means that. I'm gonna fucking murder Tommy Dreamer. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. They come back. Rick Martel gets the no music treatment in the ring after commercial. And we hear uh, this music of someone we don't recognize. And all of a sudden, this this, this madman shows up. And no one knows who it is. And it's he gets introduced as the Monster Abyss. And Abyss and Rick Martel have pretty good chemistry. Uh, but in a poor match... <laughs> but it did Abyss not save de- this match. <laughs> but in a poor match, Abyss defeats Rick Martel with the shock treatment. Jesus Christ. Oh, man. Abyss is in thunder. I swear I will I will promote someone to take this spot for me if this thunder does better than Raw. <laughs> Here backstage and Scott Steiner once again. This time, so he's, he's, he's backstage. He's running around and Mikey Whipbrack says, Hey, you beat up my friend Drago, you piece of shit. And Scott Steiner just like beats the fuck out of Mikey Whipbrack. Just clubs just, him in the back just of the clubs, head. Just clubs him and says, Hey, now I beat you up, you skinny Fuck! Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Chad teeter tottering on the cancellation line right there. Oh, I'm not. <laughs> I know, I'm joking. Oh, no. Oh, Disco Fury in ring performance better than anyone else in this match. Disco Fury. Disco Inferno and Disco Fury. <laughs> Face redacted. Oh, we thought Al Snow and Bart Gunn were going to be mad about doing this job. Uh, Justin didn't even complain. They know their place. <laughs> yeah, they look. Chad treats my former superstars like ass. They, they get it. They're Disco Inferno and Disco Fury. They come over and collect a paycheck, and then they come back to me, and I book them. The, yeah, the and then move. they come back. Uh, next segment. <laughs> oh, I forgot about this one. <laughs> How could you forget? Um, <laughs> So Disco Fury and Disco Inferno, they're dancing and they're in the ring to celebrate. And then all of a sudden, three counts music hits. And they look and they say, hey, there's only room for one dancing tag team in Thunder. So then they had a three count concert. But then Scott Taylor's music hits and he starts doing the worm. And all five of these men start dancing, Justin. They're dancing machines. I hate this. I hate it very much, Chad. <laughs> We go backstage and Chef Psychosis, you know, he uh, he says, you know what, Scott Steiner, I don't know what got into you. I don't know why you're so hell-bent on taking out cruiserweights. But listen, you picked the wrong show. Because listen, all the brand split is over, Thunder is still very much the house that Chef built. And I'm the champion. And not only am I the universal champion, but I'm also a former cruiserweight champion. So it's my job to shut you up and put a stop to this. Listen, tonight in the main event, I'm gonna do just that. You wanna fight somebody? You wanna you want you wanna prove something? You wanna take on the, the loser weights as you called them? Well guess what? This cruiser weight is gonna kick your ass. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. And this is broadcasting from Japan. We show footage of a global championship match as Owen Hart defeats Vader with a sharpshooter. At 86, Chad. That might be the best oh, thing. Japan. This... Actually, that main event might bang. I, that main I think event... Scott versus Chef is going to bang. I think that might save oh, you. Yeah. It might save you from a low 70s. Yeah. We are backstage. Chef Psychosis is getting ready for his match against Scott and, 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 and AJ Styles, the Cruiserweight Champion, the Money in the Bank, Rey Mysterio, Billy Kidman and Chavo, two all, all Cruiserweights in their own right. They all come to the locker room. Hoovitude is not there, which is interesting. AJ says, Chef, listen, I want you to know, tonight, we're, we're with you. All right, we, listen, we don't like that Scott Steiner is, is here either, and we don't like that he's taking out our friends. All right, listen, tonight, we have your back. If anything happens, if any, if, if Scott tries anything, we have you. Yep, you know, and Chef, you know, he, uh, he says, thank you. And then, you know, and he looks over at Ray, and he says, don't get any ideas tonight. And Ray <laughs> says, and Ray says, wouldn't bet on it. And then uh, they all they all kind of like do like a nod of respect, and then Chef goes out to go get ready for his match. And here it is, that main event match right here, Chad. In a superb match, Scott Steiner defeats Chef Psychosis 
1836 with a Frankensteiner. During the match, Uvitude accidentally hit Psychosis. So basically, uh, Psychosis, you know, he just runs in. He he has uh, he 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 comes uh, with a uh, with, with, with he grabs the ring bell. And he's gonna hit Scott with it. Scott ducks and he clunks Chef with the ring bell. And the ref, like the ref, is 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 mad as hell about this. So the ref is like, you know, but re- the ref respects uh, Chef Psychosis too much. So he's you know he, he doesn't disqualify him. Somehow everyone's baffled. They're like, how is he not getting disqualified for this? What the fuck? <laughs> he doesn't doesn't and scott steiner you know he picks up a uh chef psychosis's bell is quite literally rang and Scott steiner hits him with a frankensteiner and, 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 and ends him yeah there we go after the match hoovitude helps up chef and chef pushes hoovitude he's mad as hell I mean, I would, yeah i would be yeah, too. yeah and, right, and rightfully so and rightfully so so then hoovitude He's like, I'm sorry. Listen, I'm sorry. And, and Chef, Chef isn't hearing it. Chef, like, Chef pushes him again. He's like, just get away from me. He's saying that. Get away from me. I don't want to hear an apology. I want you to get away from me. So he's getting away. And Hoovitude grabs Chef by the by, by the shoulder. And Chef Psychosis pushes Hoovitude down. And Hoovitude gets up and pushes Chef Psychosis down. And then the two start fighting, Justin. Hmm. Hoovitude and Chef Psychosis, they start fighting. And the cruiserweights come out. They try to break it up. Hoovitude looks different. It looks like he's, his eyes are wide. He's had it. He like he leaps. He leaps into like a like into like a crowd of like the cruiserweights and Chef, and starts swinging. And Chef, Chef starts swinging back at Hoovitude. These two are fighting, Justin. They are. They are. They they are not good currently. This is a shoot, brother. Yeah. And we finish the show. Eighty three. Yeah. You know job. what? You know what? Better than what you thought. Oh, I thought this was gonna be like a seventy six, so I I'll take it. Thought it would be less. I, uh, <laughs> listen, I'll take it. I'm a happy I'm a happy camper. Uh yeah, I mean, was... and, and, and listen, and listen, I think this Thunder did a really good job of getting because let's be honest, like we all love Chef, but like the Hoovitude Chef story, this is what it needed, I think. Yeah, well, yeah, of course. I mean it was Yeah, that's this is where it was heading, you know. Chef, you know, in in chefs or Hoovitudes and been, he's been in uh, Chef's shadow for far too long, you know. A big win over Scott Steiner, and now Hoovitude really understands that he can he can go, and you know he's tired of being that little lackey. He can he wants to be that world champion. Who would have thought, Hoovitude world champion? Who would have thought? But, we're not there yet. Thought maybe. We'll, maybe. we'll have to see. We'll, have we'll to see you at Super Brawl, Chad. But we'll see you uh, we'll for Raw before that, Chad. Shout out to uh, Chase Tatum. Yes. 